Hey guys, Shin Lim here, and I'm extremely excited to be lecturing at the Table Series presented by Murphy's Magic. Now in this lecture, I'll be going over three different little categories. Uh, one of them will be sleight of hand, the other one gimmicks, and lastly routining. Well, regarding sleight of hand, some of the effects you may have seen in my previous releases, however, I have different little variations that have never been taught, never been released, and I'll be teaching it exclusively at the lecture. Um, a lot of move monkey things, uh, a lot of visual color changes. If you've seen my previous DVDs, you know what to expect. Uh, it just gets crazier and crazier, uh, filled with shenanigans. Now, the second one will be gimmicks. Uh, gimmicks will be including a cool little matrix routine that I've been working on. I don't plan on releasing it, so I'm only teaching you at this very lecture, so uh, you can only see it there. And secondly will be a routine involving candy, so uh, Tic Tacs or gum or any sort of breath mint. And lastly will be routining. I'll be showing you my FISM act, which no one has really seen before. and. I'll break down the routine. I'm not going to be teaching it to you, but I'll be explaining to you why I do certain things in that routine regarding music, movement, uh, storytelling, uh, without using words, and communicating with the audience with your eyes uh, on an emotional level, uh, even though you don't say a single word. So I think it's definitely a very different aspect to performing close-up magic. Um, because, you know, most, most close-up routines involve words. Um, so it's a different approach to performing close-up for a lay audience. Um, with no script, no patter, uh, but at the same time it's very moving and somehow the audience is still able to connect with the magician. I'll be going over all of those cool little aspects, my theory on magic, my philosophy on magic for lay people uh, versus magic for magicians. Um, the differences and how I try to find a good median between the two. And that's pretty much it. My name is Shin Lim. I hope to see you there on August 20th.